What exactly is respiratory therapy? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Are you ready? Let's go! Respiratory therapy, also known as respiratory care, has been defined as the healthcare discipline that specializes in the promotion of optimal cardiopulmonary function and health. Respiratory therapists, or also called RTs, apply scientific principles to prevent, identify, and treat acute or chronic dysfunction of the cardiopulmonary system. Respiratory care includes the assessment, treatment, management, control, diagnostic evaluation, education, and care of patients with deficiencies and abnormalities of the cardiopulmonary system. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, respiratory therapists help treat patients with diseases of the heart and lungs. Respiratory care is increasingly involved in the prevention of respiratory disease, the management of patients with chronic respiratory disease, and the promotion of health and wellness. Respiratory therapists, or also known as respiratory care practitioners, are healthcare professionals who are educated and trained to provide respiratory care to patients. Approximately 75% of all respiratory therapists work in hospitals or other acute care settings. However, many respiratory therapists are employed in clinics, physicians offices, skilled nursing facilities, cardiopulmonary diagnostic laboratories, and public schools, while others work in research, disease management programs, and home care. Also, some respiratory therapists are employed by colleges and universities to teach students the skills they need to become respiratory therapists. Regardless of the practice setting, all direct patient care services provided by respiratory therapists must be done under the direction of a qualified physician. These physicians are usually specialists in pulmonary medicine, anesthesiology, and or critical care medicine. So what is the job outlook for respiratory therapy? A survey conducted in 2014 by the AARC revealed that there were approximately 172,000 respiratory therapists practicing in the United States. This represented a 19% increase over a similar study conducted four years earlier in 2009. And now, in 2018, that number has only grown. As the incidence of chronic respiratory diseases continues to increase, the demand for respiratory therapists is expected to be even greater in years ahead. While in the past, the profession of respiratory therapy has been mostly uniquely done in North America, however, since the 1990s, there has been a steady increase in interest of other countries as well. This trend is referred to as the globalization of respiratory care. All of this to say, Basically, respiratory therapy is a growing field now and will continue to grow for years to come. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to comment and let me know what you think. As always, if you want to learn more about respiratory therapy, you can do so by visiting our website at respiratorytherapyzone.com. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, breathe easy my friend.